Cheerio. Oh, Cameron. Oh, you didn't know it was me? I'm not even wearing a helmet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, here we go. This is Lonely Cameron pushing his bike by himself on a desolate dirt road. And two things are happening. I'm talking to myself and there's not snow on the ground. Wicked snow! There's mountain biking to be had. Whether that riding be alone or with some other mountain biker by the name of Carson Storch. I don't know if he has a middle name. Chloe. <laughs> But a middle initial would sound pretty legit between Carson and Storch. Carson G. Storch. My middle name starts with a W, so I personally think that's the sickest sounding middle initial. It's very distinguished. It implies that you're a very civilized Cameron W. McCall, Carson W. Storch. Well, anyways, I'm gonna ride either by myself, Cameron W. McCall, or with Carson question mark Storch, depending on if he's coming or not. If he's coming, there's a chance that we can shuttle. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Woo! You guys caught me with my pants down. Hey. Hey. hey dude. <laughs> oh, shit, I found I you. Cheerio. Oh, Cameron. Oh, you didn't know it was me? I'm not even wearing a helmet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Carson, tell me the story of this vehicle. It's kind of a legend, this vehicle. The story of this truck, it's our dog's truck, Ryan Howard, little guy. Yeah, like all my early memories of going to Aptos are in this truck, because I stayed at his house. And then he decided to sell it, so I for sure bought it, because he thought that it was going to blow up. He gave it its name because he thought it was bent, right? What is this truck's name? His name is Bentley. So I picked it up, drove it home, Something definitely felt funny. So when I got it home, I had one of my buddies check it out, who's a fabricator, and he's like, oh shit, your steering rack is, the weld's broken. So he welded it back on, put a gusset in there, made it solid, and things cherry now. Oh, Five dude. minutes of welding, and the truck was fixed. Okay, and, okay. And uh, now our dog's really mad, because he wants it, he misses it. Basically just like pretty jealous and, uh, that's good though. Like, wish he didn't but it's, sell but it's sold. good. But it's good. Our dog deserves to feel jealous. And our dog doesn't have to contribute any beer to be shuttled in this if he ever comes to Bend, Oregon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. he, it's a win-win, I think. Goodbye, Jasper. Watch out for the satellite. Yeah. to get a little ripping in before the shuttle. Yeah. <sighs> Have you heard of uh, Elon Musk's uh, Space Link? No. Uh, it's like satellite internet, and he launched like 60 of them. What are they like? Oh, really? Satellites, satellites. yeah. Whoa. And uh, the other Dude. night, I came home, and my girlfriend was like, Carson, come here. You saw it. Ran outside, and we saw it, and I thought what? they were fucking aliens at first. We were freaking out. Neighbor, I called him. He came outside, his wife, and then Alex called her parents. They were, they were, Dude, Jet, seriously, you just look up shit. Elon Musk's like flying saucers are in the sky? Yeah, like, yeah. This is what it is. Whoa. If they start doing stuff like that to have you get your guard down, right? Like, oh, it's probably just Elon's satellites. And then when the aliens really are hanging, people are not gonna freak out. Dude, I still think they're aliens. That it was the weirdest well, thing I've ever seen. You're probably right. Yeah. Dude, that was pretty good. <laughs> what are we doing? We're uh, currently icing Oatman before clog its ice. But Ta -da! Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, that was da -da. pretty good. The cloth is here. What's up, dude? How are you? That's a long drive, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? 
Yes, trooper. <laughs> right down the hatch. Ooh, you did it. You should go outside and get a beer. You're probably ready. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm not gonna get any of it here. You actually, yes. What a champion. Oh. The first one that comes to mind is two years ago, 17. It was year number two of Game 4. It is. Hey, good luck, Carson. And when that rider crosses the storage is on court. He should have got better than eight, though. This is my favorite part. Oh, that's my favorite part. Do you hear what you said to yourself? Yeah, I always this point. That's so rad. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, look at the claim. Let's see that claim. No, other hand. Which is... That is exactly what you want to lay down in your first Yeah. Who cares? Right? Only one more rider can snatch that honor from the Canadian, and it's this gentleman, the 26-year-old Carson Storch, back to the Superman. He's got so much to do before he gets to that final trick jump. Let's see if he can put the pieces together. Looking to eclipse a 92.33. Here's that step-down flip. They executed with precision and run number one. Biggest three-drop we're seeing today. Carson's amazing. Biggest miles on that off. Helps are as popped as that tube right now. Thanks, Dina. Yeah, textbook conditions allowing for taco time. <laughs> Here, if you weren't to criticize this run at all, it would be not getting full extension on that back. Oh, I right. called you out. Dude, I hear you. You gotta get back on. Better than landing on your back.